Well, boys, it's an early morning, and we're back out here in Alaska. And we've got the new TLX 3500 here all kitted out with a massive snow setup. Like, this is a massive snow truck. And we just got a crap ton of snow, and we're trying to make it up the mountain to our cabin. Now, I've got a trailer along with me today uh, with a uh, John Deere side-by-side. -side. Just kind of wanted something up there that we could rip around on and whatever else, because I took all the other toys back. But it's a nice day out here, so we're going to get going up the mountain. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton and i appreciate it so much and while you're down there if you're not subscribed yet subscribe and helps make videos just like this so if you want to see more you know the button's down there so all these roads up to our cabin are obviously not plowed like they're all big mountain roads and uh hopefully with this snow setup we can at least make it up there if we can't well i may have to go up on a snowmobile but it's been a while since i've been up there so i want to check on the place i know there's a creek we're gonna have to go across up here i'm not entirely sure if it's frozen over and even if it is frozen over at this point we're most likely gonna break through just look at the amount of snow through here like we got a bunch Oop, trailer drift in action. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, slow down, slow down. Oh, don't jackknife on me. I sure hope we can make it up here because I know some of these spots in winter just get right packed full of snow, and it, it's not a fun time. Oh, man, we're just cruising up here. The TLX just don't care. These single tire tracks work wonders. All right, we've been driving for quite a while now, and I think our turn is just up here somewhere. I'm trying to remember exactly where it's at. It's hard to see now that there's snow all over the ground. Oh, oh, there it is. Back it up. Now, getting up to the cabin is the hard part. There's some steep hills up here. Oh, man, we made it. Oh, but somebody's been here. That gate was not open when I left this place. Yeah, somebody's been up here in the last little while, and I don't know who. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Better check on the house. Oh, well, everything seems fine so far. All right, I think I think we're good. I think everything's good. So over the summer, I brought up a couple things like a skid steer, a lawnmower. I had a couple toys up here, but I ended up taking them back home for the winter because didn't really want to leave them up here. But this John Deere side-by-side -side that we got, we are going to be taking that kind of around here, and we're just going to leave it up at the cabin because... Come springtime, we're going to need something, and we're not going to be able to get up here towing a trailer in the springtime. It is going to be super muddy, especially with the amount of snow we got this year. Bet you my solar panels on the roof are all uh, covered in snow there, so I'm going to have to grab the TLX, see if I can boost the skid steer, and clean up a little bit of snow around here. All right, this thing should fire up here. I've been letting it charge for a while. There it goes. We're running. All right, I better let that warm up for a little bit. Well, at least this thing decided it wanted to start up. By the way, if you guys are looking for a gaming PC, look no further than Apex Gaming PCs. They have a wide Wide range of PCs including the Austin Farmer PC which I personally use to record every video on this channel and I absolutely love it you can get a great discount using code farmer and maybe if you don't want a farmer PC they still got loads of other ones to choose from so I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to go check it out anyway back to the video well not much firewood left here that's for sure just gonna bring some into the cabin so we can actually start up a fire and get a little warm in there I think we're gonna spend the night up here if we can but yeah someone was definitely in here and it wasn't me so that kind of worries me a little bit I'm probably gonna toss a lock on that gate I was trying to do that last year but the last time I came up here I didn't have a lock this time I do I mean that's not really gonna stop him from hopping the fence but little deterrent there I gotta get a no trespassing sign yeah this should be enough to start a fire with hopefully all right, skid steer should be nice and warmed up now. Let's go plow some snow. I think I'm just going to try push a lot of it this way towards the edge of the mountain. So when it melts, it'll just all go down that way. Plus, we have more space over here anyway. Man, it's just a little chilly out here. This, uh... The skid steer is kind of an open cab and doesn't really have any heat, so yeah, it's, it's a little bit cold. I don't even have any gloves on right now. There we go. Now I'm a little more suited for the weather. Just trying to clean up as much as I can in front of the house here. That way I don't got to do no snow shoveling. Got to clear my dang gates out so I can actually shut them. Got to move this side of the way so I can actually get to this side of the yard. Well, I'd say we got the yard about as good as it's going to get here. Oh, I missed the spot. And there we go. Just back this bad boy back in there. I got to bring up some diesel next time I come because this thing is just about out. Oh, left the lights on. There. This is actually looking pretty good, except for all the snow that's over here. But I didn't even bother trying to plow my driveway. That would have took way too long. That thing is huge. I tried to get most of the snow pushed to this side of the yard, but we actually got a good... Get him out. Most of it had to go over here, though. I'm just going to go check on the cabin there, check how the fire's doing, and then I think we're going to take the side-by-side -side for a little bit of a ride, see how the property is. All right, fire's looking good. Let's go. Let me crawl over this. Yep. This thing literally has, like, zero hours on it. It's brand new. I did a couple little things to it, put a little bit of a lift on it, and put some different tires on. Hopefully, it should do well. If it doesn't, we might be going on a bit of a rescue mission. But since it's lifted, it shouldn't get bottomed out on any snow or anything, so we should be okay. 
Man, I am not seeing many deer around. Last year, there was deer everywhere through here. But not this time. I wish I had got one of these, but uh, with the cab and heat. This one does have heat, but I don't have the cab part for it. What the heck? I should have really bought the cab. Oh, well. Next time, or I'll just get the add on. Dang, the lake's not even frozen yet? What the heck? Since when? Lake's almost always frozen this time of the year. Huh, that's really weird. Well, no ice fishing just yet then. Well, I'm down this way. There's kind of one thing I want to check out here real quick, and that's the gold mine that's down here. I remember that from the spring. We were up on the hill there, and we ended up seeing this gold mine. Now, my guess is that those guys are probably long gone from here by winter. I don't even know if there's even anything out there right now. They might have moved claims. Oh, oh, oh boy. River crossing. Uh, there's still a wash plant there. Kind of just want to drive around there real quick. Just see if there's anything going on. Yeah, not really a whole heck of a lot here. It's looking pretty barren at the moment. There's not even any equipment out here. They must have took it all back with them. That is nuts that they just took everything with them. I thought usually they left the equipment out, but I guess not this year. Oh boy, I'm sliding. I'm sliding. No. Turn around. Take it easy. Please don't get stuck on me now. That's why I got those bigger meaty egg tires on there because uh, hopefully we ain't going to get stuck with those. Maybe you got to put a set of tracks on this and then it, uh, it'll be the ultimate machine here. But I think for spring, these will work pretty dang well. But I'm hoping I can at least get a boat out here in spring because the lake's just right over there and I'd love to get a boat out. Try to go up this hill, but the side by side's not having it. We're sliding back down. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to take the road. I have quite a bit of land through here, so I'd like to get some food plots in this summer, or perhaps, I guess, more in the spring, and get some tree stands up. That would be sweet. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys would wanna see. Uh, I gotta get back over this stupid big bump. There we go. Make sure I grab the keys out of everything so no one can come grab this stuff, and I'll stick them right in the cabin. All right, well, I think other than cutting some firewood, I got just about everything I wanted to do done in here, so I think I'm gonna lock the cabin. We're gonna head back down the mountain there. And I'll stay at my normal house because it's a little bit chilly now. Besides, I forgot to grab food anyway. So it wouldn't have been a very enjoyable night. Shut the gates here now that all the snow's gone. I'll put a lock on it so no one else hopefully comes back in here. That's the hope anyway. I'll bring a no trespassing sign back with me next time I come up here. Now let's see if we can get off this dang mountain. I want to go back home to my nice warm house. I at least want to get off of here before it gets dark because uh, even though we got a lot of lights on this thing, driving down an icy snowy mountain when it's dark, I can't imagine is very fun. Oh man, everything is exceedingly bright on this truck. Which way should we take here? We'll go down the mountain this way. Faster to go up, but uh, I don't really feel like doing all that. So we're going to take the down way hopefully we don't hit an icy patch and slide all over because uh oh uh, you know what these things are studded i'm sure we'll be fine oh we don't have any weight on the trailer <laughs> it's spinning out i maybe should have just left the trailer up there that might have been a smarter idea but kind of want it back here in the summer but i'm pretty sure i'll be taking this exact truck back up in the spring because it is gonna be muddy up there anyway hope you all enjoyed subscribe and goodbye